Hi guys and welcome to my channel Sierlin Styles. Today I will be reviewing some belts for you guys from Shein.com. I did buy these with my own money. I just bought them to add to my wardrobe and to review them for you guys. And I will be sharing all the prices and also have the links down below if you're interested in them. The first belt I'm going to be reviewing for you guys today is a three pack. They come as three different colors all in the same design. They cost $10 if you're not using any other discounts. I did use a discount so mine were $8.17 for the three of them and they come in these three colors. We have like a light nude color, a camel color, and a black and they all have this two ring design on the front. Now the only thing I find weird with these ones is they all have this like loop attached to them and I don't really understand why and it's not only just like attached to this loop but it's actually sewn like under this part. You can definitely remove it with some scissors and I will be doing that. I think the whole point is to help this from sliding down but it's just weird to me because when you put it on you can like see this floating around. So and I did notice that some other belts had this ring that will slide all the way off the end and they're not connected by these. So I don't know, a little bit janky on the design there, but I do like the overall look of the belt buckle part. Another weird thing is as opposed to like a traditional belt, you have this little nub here, but you bring it around and you put it through this part and then you clip it through the hole. So it's a little bit different than a traditional bell. I don't hate it, I don't love it. It's it's an interesting design. I think once I cut this off, and as you'll see in the video, they are a really cute look. I feel like they're gonna go with legitimately everything. So I am glad I got them. They're just kind of like your staple belts that will go with a lot of outfits. And as far as the material goes, they seem pretty sturdy. A couple of the belts I got are already starting to get some marks on them, and I'll show you what I mean, like some wrinkles. I guess I shouldn't say marks. But um, these ones are kind of the sturdier out of the bunch. And for three for $10, you know, you're only paying $3 and something cents for each belt, which I think, you know, I would say it's worth the price in my opinion. So secondly, well, the fourth belt, but secondly, I got this white snake belt, which I was super excited about. It has rhinestones on the snake. And I actually already own a belt like this in black and it has like a gold snake. And I just really wanted to buy a few more. So that's why I got this. I do want to say I am a size 14. So when you're watching me try on these belts, just keep that in mind. I'm also going to insert a little clip of me measuring my waist. So to give you a good idea of how these belts are going to fit, all of them I got in the regular size Shein instead of the plus size Shein. Um, but the only belt I really had an issue with was this white one. I could not even get it to clasp, which... I mean, sizing is sizing. I can't really judge. Um, I'm sure the measurements lined up. I honestly didn't even check, so that was my bad. Um, this would probably fit like a size 10 to 12. I do think that's a little bit limiting, especially when the other belts I bought did end up fitting. So just keep that in mind. But I just want to give you guys like a general feel of the sizing. So anyway, back to this belt. Um, I think it's really beautiful. I'm just bummed it doesn't fit. This does latch like a normal belt as opposed to the other one. And this is what I was talking about. You see how you can already see the wrinkles on this? So that's what I meant by the material like not being that great on some of them. Because the pack of three belts, they aren't doing that wrinkly thing where this you can tell almost immediately and I haven't even been worn it because it doesn't fit. This belt rang in as $3. After my discount, it was $2.46. So, you know, a very reasonable price. I wouldn't say it's a complete no-go, but I do think it's gonna wear down pretty quick. And into the next snake belt, I ended up getting this black one. I just thought it was like a nice, chic look. Um, the snake's a little bit different on this um, design-wise. I think it's really cool. And we're back to the belt style that has this little nub that you bring around and just punch it through. So this one I was definitely able to fit. I got it to the first hole. I think I was able to get it into the second hole, but that wasn't like my comfortable size. Um, so I mean, I'm glad with one hole. As long as it fits, I don't care. Um, this one as well has one of these things that isn't attached, so it kind of slides down. I don't really honestly need it on this because my tail is so short, but um, 
This is the same material as the white one, but the wrinkles don't show up as bad because the black color kind of hides it a little bit where the white belt, it's, it's pretty obvious. So overall, I'll definitely be wearing this one. This one was actually only $2. So with the discount, I made $1.64, which is kind of crazy. Like I don't even understand how they can charge that little. But anyways, I would say go for this one. Okay, now going into kind of like a corset belt. I didn't know whether to consider this a belt or a corset, but we're gonna put it in this video anyway. I've seen people wear these online so much and I've been interested in trying one. Again, with the whole size 14, whether you'll fit in this or not, this was quite small. Does it fit? Yes. Do I think it's like the most flattering fit? I'm not quite sure. I will say it was only $3 and I'm incredibly impressed by the material. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but this is nice and thick. The laces are like normal laces. This stretchy part is like a super good material. The Velcro on it is insane. Like honestly, it's tight on me. So if it wasn't good Velcro, I could see it like slowly coming apart if I were to like move around or sit. But this, it like crazy good stick. See? So yes, highly recommend it. Quality for $3, absurd. And I think if you're like anywhere from a size 14 and below, this will definitely work on you. And again, it goes back to body shape. So I guess I can't say that, but I would say this was slightly on the small side for me. I do want to try to pair it with some different outfits. I think the dress I'm wearing in these clips isn't the ideal look, but I wasn't sure what to pair it with. So maybe I'll play around with it in the future and I'll like it better with a different dress. Okay, now going into the chains, I got this one. This one honestly reminds me of like bees or maybe even like ladybugs. I don't know if you guys get that from it or not, but you have this cute design, which I think looks really pretty from far away. And then you have this long chain. And on the end of that chain, there is this little rose pendant. So very cute. I put it on the jeans and the dress to kind of give you two examples but I think it's a cute look. It was a little bit towards the end on me. Like I didn't have a lot more room I could go on the belt. Um, on a smaller waist, you'd have more dangling down. But nonetheless, I really like the way this looked with both outfits. So yeah, I definitely like this one. It was $4 before the discount, so a good price. Okay, so the next belt here is $5 and it's a three chain rhinestone little droopy belt. This can also be used for like bathing suits as like a body chain. I think that's more of what it's supposed to be used for, but it's kind of on the verge of bowl. It kind of references a bell and a body chain. So either way you want to use it will be great. I did specifically buy this to use during bathing suit season, but I do think I'll use this as a regular belt as well. I thought it looked cute with the jeans. The last belt I'm showing you today was one that I did get in the plus size section and I'm glad I did do that because as you see the chain that gets left after clasping it is quite long and I like the look of this one a lot. This belt was originally $350. It is quite a heavy chain so quality wise I think it's going to hold up pretty well. So that is going to be all the belts today. I would say my least favorite was definitely the white one although it had a beautiful design. It was way too small and it also looked like the fake leather on the belt was going to wrinkle and get old very quickly. And the rest of the belt qualities I thought were pretty nice. I think that the extra loops and stuff that I have to cut off are a little bit odd. But because I'm paying so little for them, I honestly don't mind. It's just a fun way to add some new stuff in my wardrobe without spending a fortune. And if I want something to be specifically good quality and last me a long time, I'm obviously going to go to another store and maybe spend $10, 20 $30 on a belt. So anyway, I hope this was helpful to you guys. They have a million belts on there, so go ahead and check them out. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!